I have a name of God that's in the September 30th one year Bible reading from the book of Isaiah and I'm reading from chapter 62 in the New Living Translation. So verse 1 starts off it says because I love Zion I will not keep still because my heart yearns for Jerusalem I cannot remain silent. I will not stop praying for her until her righteousness shines like the dawn and her salvation blazes like a burning torch. And then it continues in verse four. Never again will you be called the forsaken city or the desolate land. Your new name will be the city of God's delight and the bride of God. For the Lord delights in you and will claim you as his bride. Your children will commit themselves to you, O Jerusalem, just as a young man commits himself to his bride. Then God will rejoice over you as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. So the name of God in this reading is Bridegroom. And I know you've got to have gone to a wedding before, or maybe you have had a wedding of your own yourself and every wedding I've ever been in it is marked by joy and delight and God claims that name for himself in the beginning of this reading we, we hear that God is saying he yearns for his people he will not stop praying for him, them and so this is a passionate kind of love that God has for us as his people. And he wants to rename us with a hopeful name. And the name he chooses is the Bride of God. So we know that bridegrooms pursue their brides. And I think about when Boaz was going to marry Ruth, she said, spread your wing of protection over me. And so a bridegroom protects his bride as well. So this is such a beautiful and intimate name of God that he gives for his people, but also just for any believer. This is how much he treasures you and passionately loves you and pursues you and will cover you with his wing of protection if you will just follow him.